Good morning, teachers and students. We'll get started here in just a few more minutes. Thanks so much for being here. Hello everyone, I'm Congresswoman Deb Holland, and I'm honored to share a few words during this year's Discovery Festival. The sixth annual Discovery Festival hosted by Big Brothers Big Sisters has become a wonderful tradition, providing a wide array of opportunities for New Mexico students to discover the future of STEM. New Mexico is home to many historic and consequential scientific breakthroughs, Discoveries that range from revolutionizing the way we'll power the cities of the future to expanding our ability to explore the cosmos. This year, for the first time, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central New Mexico is hosting Discovery Fest virtually. I'm amazed at how many events and presentations this team has put together under such challenges this year, and I'm delighted to see that a record number of New Mexico students will join the fun and the learning of Discovery Fest. New Mexico is an amazing home for technology and our kids are in a great position to learn more and take advantage of our state's unique and important role in the national tech space. In Congress, I support expanding STEM. Opportunities like Discovery Fest and fighting for resources for your incredible teachers because I know how important science, technology, engineering, and math will be for our future. I want to let you all know about my annual Congressional App Challenge that invites students to come up with one-of-a-kind apps and have their app displayed at the national level. Students learn to code, manage a project, and learn more about technology. 
In that spirit, I'm thrilled to welcome this future generation of innovators, inventors, and explorers, and all the incredible teachers developing these bright young minds to this year's event. Our beautiful state of New Mexico, America, and frankly, our whole world's future will be counting on the creativity and innovative spirit of you young people. So I want to encourage all the future physicists, researchers, biologists, and engineers watching right now to keep reaching for the stars. Learn all you can, and most of all, have fun at this year's Discovery Fest. Thank you. Great, thank you so much, Congresswoman Deb Holland for those wonderful words of support. My name is Will Toppy and I'm the Advancement Coordinator for Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Central New Mexico. And I, and I too would like to welcome you to our sixth annual Discovery Festival. So I wanna quickly mention what Discovery Festival looks like normally. Then of course, what's happening right now uh, during this pandemic. So outside of a pandemic, Discovery Festival is a one day event held at the Albuquerque Convention Center. Actually right around this time, I think we were almost a year ago to the day that we held our uh, in-person Discovery Festival in 2019. So, so that's Discovery Festival. Normally we get about 3000 students from across central New Mexico who all descend on the Convention Center. Uh, within about 50 plus exhibitors, all who have hands on exhibitions for various areas of STEAM. And STEAM, as we all know, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. So it's an incredible event. Uh, the exhibitors love it, the students love it, and even the teachers love it. But of course, this year, due to the novel COVID-19 pandemic, we've had to move all of that totally online and totally virtually. So instead of having it just for one day, we've decided to open it up to basically just about the entire month of November. We started this all the way back on November the 2nd, if you can believe it. And today, of course, is the last day of Discovery Festival, the 24th. Uh, so yeah, it's been going on as a series of live streams throughout the month of November from uh, some amazing exhibitors. Um, and it's been a total, total, total blast. It's been a marathon, but it's been a blast. <laughs> So uh, as always, you know, I, I do want to give a shout out here in the beginning to a lot of our sponsors. Um, without these wonderful folks, what you're seeing here for this festival would not be possible. So first of which, um, a big shout out to our presenting sponsor, our Da Vinci presenting sponsor, Honeywell. Uh, Honeywell has been a community partner of ours for many, many, many years, and they're phenomenal people who really care a great deal about the community. So thank you so much, Honeywell, for your Da Vinci presenting sponsorship. To our Curie sponsor, Fidelity Investments. Fidelity is also a hit every single year at the Discovery Festival. They normally have like a three booth display with all this awesome stuff. And they presented of course this year on what is credit and why it's important to save. You can find those recordings on our website, discoveryfestnm.org. So thank you so much Fidelity for your sponsorship. To our ride sponsors, Aztec Machine and Repair out in beautiful Bloomfield, New Mexico, Air Force Research Laboratories, uh, we had AFRL on uh, last Tuesday and they spoke about satellites as velocity victors. It was one of our most popular presentations for this entire festival. Uh, so uh, again, we're appreciative for that sponsorship, Aztec Machine and Repair and Air Force Research Laboratories. To our Newton sponsors, to the Defense Threat Reduction Agency or DITRA, uh, Kirtland Air Force Base, Micronet Solutions, Sandia National Laboratories, and all of our heroes at Presbyterian Hospitals. Thank you so much. And a couple of ground rules here as we get started. Um, if you're watching on our YouTube live stream, if anything happens with the stream, if we go down for whatever reason, if there's a power outage, whatever, uh, please just go right back to this YouTube page. That's the BBBS CNM YouTube page. And we'll have the stream back up and running shortly. I don't think anything will happen. Fingers crossed. Haven't had any problems so far this year, but hey, it's technology. So, uh, so just that rule. And then secondly as well, please use the chat function on that live stream. That's why it's there. Tell us where you're watching from. Uh, let us know if you have any questions during the presentation and we will add, we will ask those questions live on air, including shout outs. So I'll, I'll give anybody shout outs. Um, so we have a couple of viewers there on YouTube. So let us know where you're watching from. I'll give you a shout out on the live stream. It'd be super cool. Um, I think that's all the announcements I have for now. Um, I always blab for way too long in the beginning of these. So I'm just going to invite on our guest for this 930 to kick off our last day of Discovery Festival. We have Alexis Argumedo from CNM. Hey, Alexis, are you there? I will. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome to the stream. Again, I, I babble for way too, way too long in the beginning of these. So I'm just going to kick it right over to you and I'll, I will jump in as questions come up. Awesome. Thanks, right. Will. Thanks. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and 
share my screen here. All right, here we go. So once again, my name is Alexis Argometto. I'm a recruitment specialist here at CNM. I want to thank you for tuning in today and welcome you to coming to just hear a little bit more about the dual credit program that we offer at CNM. So we're going to talk a little bit about the eligibility to be in the dual credit program as well as the benefits and how to get started. So first off, a little bit about CNM. So CNM is the largest community college in New Mexico, serving over 22,000 students. Here at CNM, we have six academic schools that we offer. And within these academic schools, we have over 200 associate degrees and certificates that you can choose from. Uh, we have nine locations across Albuquerque and Rio Rancho. We have the main campus, Montoya, Rio Rancho, South Valley, Westside, Advanced Technology Center, CNM Stimulus Center, Fuse Makerspace, Online and Workforce Training Center. So who is eligible for dual credit and really what is dual credit? So dual credit basically gives you the opportunity to uh, get credit for high school credits as well as college credits. And so in order to be eligible for that, you do have to be enrolled as at least half time as a high school sophomore, junior or senior at a public, private or charter high school. If you are homeschooled, you do have to have proof of your homeschool enrollment and you do have to be age 15 for that. Um, you should not have received a high school diploma or high school equivalency. To be in the dual credit program, you do have to take college level courses. You also have to meet course prerequisites by submitting your ACT or SAT scores or by taking our AccuPlacer assessment to test for college level course placement. Uh, dual credit courses are not audited and you do have to provide a valid state issued student ID number, also known as a STARS ID. And it does kind of depend on whether or not you're a um, private, public or charter school or even homeschooled as far as how to obtain that STARS ID. So the benefits of dual credit. So as I said earlier, you do earn college credit as well as high school credit, and it also helps you meet graduation requirements. Another really nice benefit of dual credit is that you're already getting exposed to the college level work while still in high school. And so once you graduate high school, you kind of already know what to expect. You kind of already know what a college level class looks like. And so really that's gonna give you a smoother transition as well from high school to college. And being that you are getting a head start, basically that means less time to complete a college degree and you can jump in the workforce a lot sooner. Another huge benefit to dual credit is that it is free tuition. Um, the only thing that dual credit students are responsible for are course fees and uniforms if it's required for that class. Public schools will cover the cost of your textbook, so that's a huge benefit as well. And it's a great opportunity to get started in college while still in high school. And if you decide to go to a university or another college after high school, those credits will, most, most of our credits at CNM are transferable. So that's a great opportunity as well to just get started. So steps to becoming a dual credit student. So you're first gonna apply and get a CNM student ID number. Our application is free, it's online, and it should not take you more than about 30 minutes to, to get it done. Um, you'll then submit an agreement form. Basically, this is just a form that's signed by one of the parents and the student. Then you'll set up your My CNM Student account. Basically, within this account, you'll have access to your email, resources, your courses will be in here. It's kind of where you'll have kind of everything in this one account to be a student at CNM. You'll also complete the new student orientation. You'll take the AccuPlacer placement exam. And to touch a little bit on that, guys, the AccuPlacer placement exam is not a pass or fail exam. It's more so just to test your academic level so that way the academic coach can place you in courses according to your level, as well as um, place you in courses that will help you meet your program requirements. Uh, so after you take the AccuPlacer exam, 
Um, you'll then meet with our academic coach. We have a designated academic coach for dual credit. So she kind of knows the ins and outs of our program. And she can also assist in helping you manage your high school schedule as well as your college schedule. So she's a great resource as far as figuring out how many classes to take um, and figuring out what's, what your schedule can look like. Um, you'll register for classes. Typically, you would get a CNM ID card. However, um, the majority of our classes right now are online and it will be like that for the spring. Really, the only classes we are offering in person is um, our hands-on in-person classes. So most of us are online right now. You'll get your textbooks. And then again, normally you would locate your classes, but most of us are online and you would just access your courses right through that MyCNM account. Textbooks. So textbooks also kind of vary on what type of school you go to. So if you are a regular APS high school or school of choice, we have a textbook center that you can pick up your textbook. If you go to a charter school and all other school districts, you have to print a copy of your schedule from your MyCNM account. You'll bring your printed schedule and a textbook charge form, and you'll bring it to a CNM bookstore to pick up required textbooks. And then if you are private school or homeschooled students, you are responsible for the cost of your own textbooks. Now we are encouraging students to go with a digital textbook option. Um, these are, it's, it's called include ed digital textbooks. And basically these are just textbooks delivered right automatically within the course. So it's really convenient. You don't have to pick up any physical textbook. It automatically comes with the course once you register for the class. Um, and you can see a list of these courses that can be found on our website. And um, the dual credit students will see this include ed charge on their account, but the public and charter high schools do not pay for those charges. So uh, we are highly encouraging that you get a digital textbook option. And again, um, I'll just talk a little bit about our academic coach here. She is available remotely right now. And again, she can help you as far as time management, looking at your program requirements, reviewing the course catalog and offering any study skills tips. She's just really there to support you in your class and help you get started as far as figuring out what courses to take. We also have a disability resource center, center here at CNM. So if you have a documented disability, such as a learning disability, mental disability, physical disability, and you need accommodations uh, to be successful in your class, we can work with you on that. We have academic coaches in our disability resource center to provide those accommodations for you so you can be successful in your class. Now here is our contact information. Um, you can check out our website at cnm.edu slash dual credit, or if you have any questions regarding our program or getting started, please feel free to email dual credit at cnm.edu, our phone number 505-224-3352. We also have a virtual room right now. Um, quite a few of our departments here at CNM are meeting virtually through a platform called WebEx. And so basically, um, cnm.edu slash thinking about CNM. If you go to that link, you can meet one-on-one -on -one with the recruiter in a virtual room anytime between Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you jump in this room, basically we can help you with any questions you may have, or it also gives us the opportunity to view your computer screen. You can share your screen and we can walk you through the application visually as well. So it's a great resource to use um, to get help with anything at CNM. We also included our academic coach, Kelly Gallardo, her information here so that way if you need to meet with her, or to have it once you do get enrolled in the process, um, you can reach out to her. I did wanna mention that our spring 2021 application is open and I would encourage you now, if you are interested in dual credit, I would encourage you to um, get started on the process now. It does take a little bit longer than um, being just a, a, an adult student. Um, there are a little bit more steps in dual credit. So I would encourage you to get started now um, our registration for classes is also open. So once you get applied and you get a CNM ID number and you go through the steps, um, our registration will be open for you to start actually picking your classes. So now we're going to open it up for questions. 
Um, and please feel free to write down our contact information or take a picture of the screen here. Awesome, thank you so much, Alexis. So a couple of questions. Um, you know, I, I think a common question right now for a lot of the students, of course, uh, being under a stay at home order, um, lockdown here in New Mexico. So a common question that we've gotten for these presentations is, um, is CNM virtual right now for the pandemic? Yes, so, um, and as far as our departments, like our admissions department, our financial aid department, yes, um, the majority of the staff and employees at CNM are at home. However, we are available email, phone, um, quite a few of our departments as well. I know off the top of my head, financial aid, and I want to say our admissions as well, have that WebEx room so you can meet with them one-on-one -on -one, um, and, and chat with them that way. And then, of course, for our classes, 90% of our classes are op operating online right now. There are kind of two different options to do online. There is an option to do what's called real-time online. And basically, that's where you'll meet live one-on-one, -on -one, well, not one-on-one, -on -one, but with the class, with the instructor. That's a live class. And then you have the option to just do online at your own pace. Not, and, of course, following the um, assignment deadlines and things like that. But that's kind of what our operations look like. And it will be continuing that way for the spring term as well. Mm -hmm. Well, and what's great about it, I mean, you know, I guess the silver lining within all this stuff is, is it, it's increased accessibility uh, to you all, right? I mean, I remember when I was registering for, for college, I didn't have any options to pop into a virtual room and say, hey, Alexis, can you help me figure out how to fill out this form? I mean, I, you know, I would just get a form and try and figure it out myself, right? You know? Right. And the great thing about, about this program, um, just mm -hmm. to encourage some of our students, is that um, they'll, they'll walk you through a lot of these processes, um, you know, and uh, yeah, and then of course, just the dual credit in general, this is something that, you know, you can get a jump start in your college career, get out of college earlier. I wish I would have known about this in high school too, you know, get out of college earlier, hit the workforce earlier, you know, you get a jump start, um, you know, can get several years under your belt at, at, a, at a job with a, with a degree. So it's pretty amazing there. Um, yes. And so um, again, this is a common question we get from our students, but um, so what if I'm not sure um, what I wanna be when I get older? Yeah, and, and that's okay um, as far as figuring out what program to start now in dual credit. Um, so kind of starting from the beginning, when you're in the application, it is gonna ask you what program you are trying to pursue. If you're not sure yet, that's okay. And that, that, um, that option that you choose in that application, it can change. Um, so typically we, have our, we encourage our students to just click liberal arts in the application. And then as you go through the process, we would encourage you to meet with our academic coach. That way she can kind of um, look at the different programs that we have and help you come to a, a better decision. And again, it can change over time. Um, I know even adult students that change their programs multiple times and that's okay. Um, but really also too, I like to encourage students to kind of just think about what they like to do. Um, and maybe they like to help people and kind of looking at careers at how you can help people. There are many different ways that you can help people in the workforce. Um, or maybe you like dealing with numbers. I think that's always a good place to start, especially while being in high school, um, is just kind of figuring out what is it that you like to do? What are your passions and, and how you would want to pursue those as far as a career? Mm. Awesome. Awesome. And, and, you know, speaking about passions and a career, so um, can you begin something like the nursing program inside of a dual credit? Yes. So the nursing program, um, it does have its own admissions process. So you do have to go through another process to actually getting um, accepted into that program. However, if you did want to just start some of the prerequisites and the, and the beginning classes, you can do that as well. And then as you move along in the program and in the process, you can um, just keep in contact with the academic coach and that program in particular to kind of see what else you need to complete for that or how to start the application process specifically for the nursing program. But really everybody is going to start off with taking just your basic English or math, um, pretty much for all programs, you'll need that to start off with. So they, it's, it's great to get that started in high school. That way you're not having to start that once you graduate high school and then waiting to be accepted into the 
um, nursing program for their admissions process, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great point, you know, that a lot of these classes have the same prerequisites, they have the same foundation, they have the same kind of building blocks for them, right? And so even if you don't know what you want to do, it's always great to lay down those, um, you know, those, uh, those building blocks and those prerequisites, um, which is pretty awesome. And so yes. is the dual credit, does it only apply to degrees or does it also apply to certificates as well? Um, it can apply to certificates as well. And as I, as I had mentioned earlier, um, if you decided that, you know, you graduate high school and you say, I don't want to continue to go to CNM, I want to go to UNM or whatever it may be, um, those are college credits that you're getting under your belt. So, I mean, that now kind of goes on a transcript to where it can get transferred to other uh, universities and colleges if that's what you wanted to do as well. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's, it, it's a really, really, really great program. So just to encourage our students to please check that out. Mm -hmm. um, that's all the, uh, that's all the questions we got, Alexis. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for coming on today. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me, Will. And you guys, I wish you guys all a, a good holiday and um, hopefully we'll see you around at CNM. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. And just a shout out to Alexis and her team at CNM that they've been, uh, they've been rocking these, these presentations since, uh, November the 2nd. They were our first to come on and I think it's fitting that you guys are on for the last day of our Discovery Festival. So so thank you so much, Alexis, to you and your team at CNM. Awesome. Thanks, Will. You guys take care. All right. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. And uh, just a final shout out here uh, to our sponsors for this event. Again, what you're seeing today would not be possible without these wonderful folks. So thank you so much to Honeywell, our presenting sponsor, Fidelity, our Curie sponsor for this event, Aztec Machine and Repair, a, uh, Air Force Research Laboratories, the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, Kirtland Air Force Base, Micronet Solutions, Sandia National Laboratories, and all of our heroes at Presbyterian Hospitals. Thank you all so much. Please stay healthy and safe. We got two more presentations for today here at 11 a.m. We have Los Alamos National Laboratories, um, and then at 1 p.m. we have Arizona State University, the I Ira Fulton Schools of Engineering. So please swing back for those. Be sure to check those out. You're not going to want to miss them. Stay healthy and safe, everyone. We'll see you here in just about another hour. Take care.